I have to go in my 20 minutes. I need to walk my dog again. He's a sleepy boy. What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my messy living room. So even though I did go to Disney World a little over a month ago with Tart, this is our family vacation. This is our planned family vacation that we've had in our back pockets for about a year now. And it's been three years since we've been back to Walt Disney World and we're so stoked. We are ready. So tonight is packing night. It's Thursday. We leave tomorrow. This past week I've just been figuring out outfits that I'm gonna wear to each park. So I'm gonna take you guys along on creating my outfit for the Magic Kingdom. I have a pair of Mickey ears that look like Sorcerer Mickey. Those ones right there next to the purple ones. And I'm gonna do a really simple Disney bound that corresponds with my style as emo alternative and just be myself. Like, this past year is all about self-discovery and just being comfortable with my skin. And being more comfortable with my labels, I guess, that I consider myself. And of course, Disney is my second home, so why not mash those two together and make something fun and exciting? So I am doing like a little alternative punky Sorcerer Mickey Disney bound. <laughs> And I thought, hey, I'm gonna make something really special for this piece that not only I'm gonna wear for this Disney bound, that I can wear at any time of the year because I love Disney and I love crafting and I just love making my own stuff. So I'm gonna be making an acid wash shirt. Now the footage that you're gonna be seeing is from about two days ago when I actually did make the shirt, but this was such a fun journey making that shirt. Like, I totally loved it. Now I've done this project a couple years ago, maybe three, four years ago, and it turned out pretty cool. Like, I got a lot of compliments. So I thought I would totally do this again one day. So today is the day. <laughs> so I'm just gonna play all of the clips of me making the shirt, all the supplies you need, and just the journey of actually making the shirt and showing you guys how to make an acid wash shirt. So without further ado, are you ready? I think you're ready. Let's rock and roll. So what you're seeing here is I decided to create a Mickey Mouse shaped template for my shirt so that way the hidden Mickeys kind of show up a little bit easier and you're able to really identify that this is a Disney related shirt. So I am just taking a old box and cutting it up and making my template through that piece of cardboard so you don't need that and i'm just gonna simply sketch on a mickey mouse shape So then after you're done with the initial pencil, you can go over it with a pen or a highlighter or whichever you choose and you're just going to brighten up that shape so that way it's easier for you to see the lines when you cut them. Like that. And I'm actually going to go over the highlighter with the pen. That just makes it easier. The next step is getting your tape. I'm just using regular old scotch tape and I'm going to cover the entire piece of cardboard with this tape. This is going to help keep the cardboard a little bit more intact because this is going to be coated with bleach and it'll keep it from getting too soggy that much more easily. And then go ahead and cut your template out. As you just saw, the Mickey is not completely covered, so I'm using a piece of tape to put that together, and I did that for a smaller version of another Mickey. Time for the shirt. So I'm just using a plain black shirt, really cheap. There's the template. You're gonna need some vinyl gloves. That's a little spray bottle with bleach and a piece of cardboard. So get your doggo and get those gloves on, and it's time to start crafting.
So that main first step is basically just putting a piece of cardboard under your shirt to stabilize your template a little bit easier and to keep the bleach from bleeding too much so you get the same kind of pattern on the same side. I really wanted it to be very different. Every Mickey I wanted to be kind of placed very differently. So I just took the cardboard, put it in the shirt, did the template, and did that a million times and then did some extra splatters and made it just super diverse and authentic. Once you're happy with your design, then you can go ahead and give that shirt a nice little bath in some really cold water to stop the bleach from kind of activating and giving the shirt more color. And then you can dry it by hanging it up on a hanger and I left that for about maybe two or so days. And that's really all it is to it. And then you can dry it in a, in a regular machine dryer and you are done. All right, guys, so this is the finished product of what my shirt looks like. I am so happy with how the whole thing kind of turned out. Like, don't get me wrong, it's not perfect, but I really didn't want it to be. Like, I love it so much. Alright guys, I'm going to close it off here. I really hope you enjoyed watching me make this shirt, doing acid wash again after maybe four years or so was really fun. So I'm glad I took you guys on a little journey with me on doing some crafting. If you like this little DIY project, please give it a thumbs up. Maybe comment down below some more DIY projects that you like to see. I am more than willing to give my crafty hands a shot at doing some more really fun projects. It would mean the world to me if you would subscribe to my channel and also make sure to hit that notification bell so you don't miss what's coming up next. Also, if you want to follow me on Instagram, you absolutely can. It is instagram.com slash rockon underscore abl. So until the next time I see you all, this has been another video by rockon abl. My name is Ashley and I will see you all. Real, real soon. Bye-bye.